for playwright using BDD along with the JavaScript and without losing any essence of playwright over it. So that means we'll be working with both playwright and BDD. We'll integrate BDD with playwright and we'll all we'll also use the all specific features that playwright has given over here. Example, fully parallel, workers, retries, auto wait, auto screenshot, and other things that playwright has given. Okay, so in this tutorial, um, I'll basically provide you a step-by-step -step procedure to set up playwright with BDD, which is behavior-driven development, and write few of the test case uh, and to see how do we basically implement the complete set of playwright using BDD without using any sense of the playwright specific feature. Okay, so in our previous session, we have discussed regarding um, what is BDD in the detail form. You can uh, watch it like the previous recorded session if you have not gone through. You can go through the previous uh, session where we have discussed regarding complete BDD along with the different types of keywords over here. Now in this session, we'll be talking about how do we set up the playwright and BDD so that we can uh, work with both playwright and BDD without losing any essence of the playwright. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, in terms of the installation again, what are the different types of prerequisite that we need to work with playwright and BDD along with JavaScript I've given in other um, session that you can watch it through. I'll also provide the video link in the comment so that you can watch it through. But in general, we require a Node.js and NPM. NPM will be bundled with the Node.js itself. And you also need a Visual Studio code that you see on the screen, which will help us in um, maintaining and execution of the test case by using Visual Studio Code Editor. Okay, so I've created one project uh, inside my system, which is having the name as Playwright BDDJS. And inside this project, we'll go for the complete installation. The first that we have to do is, I've already installed Node.js and Visual Studio Code. Now we have to install Playwright and then Playwright BDD so that it will help us in working with both Playwright and BDD framework over here. Okay. So let's go ahead and start uh, installation of Playwright. How do we install it? There are various ways in which you can install Playwright. But one of the ways is by using a command known as npm init playwright. This will set up the complete um, project, you can say, or complete framework for the Playwright over here. You can simply give npm init playwright and at the time of installation or at the time of setup of the playwright framework, this will ask you a few of the questions. Which language do you want to select? Currently, we are using JavaScript. For TypeScript related also, we'll make a change. Uh, we'll make a, uh, a session. Currently, we are using JavaScript, so select a JavaScript over here. Where do you want to put your end-to-end -end test case? So by default, it has given test, so I'll select the test. We do not require any GitHub Actions workflow right now, so I'll make it as by default, which is false. And install the Playwright browser. I'll make it as by default true, so that Playwright internally will install the all the browsers that it needed. And it had started um, installation of Playwright framework, and within a few seconds, you see that it displays a message saying that happy hacking. Right? That means the Playwright installation have been successful. Now in this installation, it has given few of the folders, few of the structures that again, you can go through in the uh, other sessions. I'll provide you the link inside the comment, recorded link inside the comment. And if you see inside again, the playwright.config.js, this have given the complete setup of the playwright specific features. This has given a complete setup of playwright specific features over here. And inside the package.json, it says that we have installed Playwright and we also have a Node.js applicable inside our system. And now to work with Playwright along with the BDD, 
we require another library known as playwright-bdd to be installed inside us uh, this particular project okay so for that we can use a command npm space i space minus d and then playwright minus bdd library and just hit enter within few seconds you'll see that this playwright minus bdd will also be stored inside dev dependencies over here inside the package.json that means it has been successfully installed for this particular project to be utilized as a playwright bdd okay now what we have done is we have just um, um, set up like the installation part which is playwright and related to a playwright bdd right now in in this series what we are trying to do is we are trying to also set up the playwright along with the bdd without using without losing any essence of the playwright specific features right so here if you see we have used we have basically defined all the configuration related to playwright now to work with bdd we also have to define a uh, configuration related to BDD as well, so that it will also uh, use some of the features of the BDD to give us the flexibility to use Playwright and BDD together without again losing any uh, specific features of the Playwright. So in this case, we also have to set it up as we have imported define config and devices from Playwright test. In the same way, we have to import define bdd config bdd config from where do we have to um, uh, import is by using a require function we have to import it from playwright bdd module that you bdd uh, library that we have installed okay so inside this playwright bdd library you will see that there is something known as a define bdd config and this define bdd config will help us in setting up the configuration for the bdd cucumber okay now um, we have like similar kind of setup that we have in over here for the playwright right in the same way we also have to define but not the everything that you see because it have already been defined inside the playwright and we'll also be leveraging the uh, features that have been given by the playwright so what we have to do the setup inside the playwright is inside uh, BDD is BDD configuration is to just set up the path of the um, um, path of our um, feature files and path of the step definition. So let's do one thing. Let's create a, a folder over here inside the test. Uh, we'll use the folder inside the test itself. In this case and in this case, what we'll do is we'll create a few features. Uh, one of them will be a features folder where all the dot feature file will be stored. And then second, we are trying to create a pages where it will store all the page layer. And third that we are trying to create is step definition, which will also store the complete definitions file inside this step. So I'll just say it as steps over here as a as a folder name and inside this folder we'll be storing all the step definition so that configuration we have to define where is our feature file where is our step definition so that it will be able to import all those feature files which will consist of all the test cases and step definition which will match the test cases uh, map the test case basically to the step definition Okay, so that configuration we have to define inside this playwright.config.js. And how will we define is we can create one um, uh, variable over here which will give the name as test directory, test dir. And this will be uh, this we have to write however we have written for the playwright, which is define config. In this case, we'll be using define bdd config that we have to import that we have imported from playwright bdd okay now inside this we have to give again the same uh, key and value pair option because this define config is one of a function but inside that it will accept 
an object which will be in the form of key and value pair. So here we can provide a features file. First, features file. That means the steps where did we define the feature file inside our framework. So this is again available inside the test folder. From there, it is available inside features folder. And inside this, we need all the feature file that have been uh, that have been basically created by using dot feature. Right, so this will be the path of the feature file that we will be creating inside the test folder over here. Again, going through going inside the features file. Second that we require is for the steps. So steps is also defined over here inside this, which is inside the test folder, inside the steps folder, and all the files that will have .js extension. Okay, so these are the two things that we have to set it up inside the configuration file for the VDD. And now if you see over here, in this case, the test directory says that this everything, whatever is available inside test. Now, uh, when you work with Playwright, when you specifically work with Playwright, Playwright um, uh, you know, uh, has given a format that you have to write all the test case inside the test folder, right? So it look for all your test case available inside the test folder. In this case, we have defined a test directory as we are trying to use a BDD specific things as well. So in this case, we have given the test directory as the feature file, which will consist of all the test cases and step definition, which, which will basically map all the test case to the steps, right? So in here, instead of providing the dot test, we have to provide simply a test directory that we have defined over here. Test directory over here, whatever the test directory that we have defined that we can provide as a reference. So now other things will remain in that. Other things will not change over here. What we'll be doing over here is the directory that we have defined for scanning of the test case we have provided over here. Okay. Now in the next session, we have just configured it. In the next session, we will be working on defining the feature file, defining the pages, defining the steps, and we'll also see how do we execute this using the playwright specific um, uh, command itself. And we'll also generate some of the report going forward. Initially, we'll generate HTML, then we'll go for LDO and monocrat. Okay, so that's about uh, the session for this.